The Tandy Color computer was one of the more unique computers from the 1980s. By its third iteration, it had become expandable and surprisingly powerful. Much of the time, users would run software from BASIC. But it had another powerful DOS-like operating system called OS9. And it hasn't been updated since the 80s. However, there is an open source clone of it called Nitros 9, which still gets updates. Trying to use it on an emulator can be a little annoying, due to the lack of space on floppy disks. Don't worry, I've done a little hacking to the source code and have made up disk images that can be used to install it to a virtual hard drive. In this video, I'll show you how to set up one of the virtual drives with the VCC emulator, but these instructions should also be usable with other Coco 3 emulators. The first thing to do is to check your emulator configuration. Make sure the memory size is set to at least 512 kilobytes. And select the appropriate CPU, either 6809 or 6309. I'm using the 6809 for this video. Next, go to Cartridge, then FD502config, and set the ROM to RGB DOS. Do a hard reset. You should now see Hard Disk Basic, and it'll say Hard Drive Not Found. To create the drive, go to the folder where you want to store the file, right click, go to new, and make a new text document or something. Type the file name you want and make sure the extension is .vhd. Now insert the VHD into the hard drive slot and do a hard reset. If you hear a beep, it means the hard drive is attached. Now, insert the VHD install disk for the CPU you chose into Drive Zero. Type in Drive Off to activate the floppy drive. Type in DOS to boot Dynetrust 9. You'll first need to type in a command to set the disk parameters, or the drive won't be correctly formatted. Type dmode slash h0 typ equals 81 cyl equals 5000. Next, type inis slash h0. Finally, type format slash h0. The drive will have a 90 megabyte plus OS9 partition, and later we'll add disk basic partitions. Type Y. Again. No to the physical format. Now type in the name you want for the disk. No to the physical verify. And now it starts a logical format of the drive. Next, type dsave-s48 slash h0 exclamation point shell. This copies everything from the Nitros 9 distribution disk over the hard drive. I've sped this up because it takes over five minutes in real time to do. Once it's finished copying, type Reboot. This will bring you back to the basic prompt. Now you insert the tools disk into Drive 0. And then insert the appropriate VHD boot disk for your chosen CPU into Drive 1. Type drive off, and then run quotation mark create quotation mark. Type Y and hit enter. The beeping you hear is the program formatting 255 35 track single sided basic disk partitions. 
This takes around 10 minutes or so. Once it's finally finished formatting partitions, it'll copy the tools and Nitros 9 boot disks over to the hard drive. Type drive off again. Then type run quotation mark link quotation mark. Finally, type 254 and hit enter. Now you can eject the disks from the floppy drives. To test it out, type DOS 254. You can check your free space by typing free slash dd. I really have no idea how much space that is, but it's a lot. If you want to do a hard reset from Nitros 9, just type reboot. You'll now get this boot screen when you cold boot or hard reset. You can turn the floppies on and off from here, as well as set the system clock speed. If you want to go to Nitros 9, just press 5. You'll be in Nitros 9, and the system time will be set for you automatically. If you want to use Disk Basic, press 6. The hard drive is turned off here, so I'll type Drive On to bring it back up. You can type drive and then a number to switch the partition to a different one. Drive 253 will bring up a copy of the tools disk. Drive 254 is the Nitros 9 boot partition. And drive 255 is the actual Nitros 9 partition, which can't be read from basic. This shows the specs on your virtual hard drive, so you can access RSDOS partitions from Nitros 9 with a program called HRSDOS. You can download the installation disk images from the link below if you decide to set one of these up for yourself. I've also put up a blog post about this. See you next time!